Okay, and then it repeats. So, uh, homophonic rhythm, the harmonic pace is about, usually I would call this uh, two chords per bar. So, in most bars, we hear one chord for the first half of the bar and a second chord in the second half of the bar. There are some exceptions, but that's the, the majority of the harmonic rhythm throughout this arrangement. It's about two chords per bar. Okay, now let's look at another arrangement. This one is for piano and voice, but you can see in the piano, we still have an SATB looking structure, like look right here. Right, we still have four voice looking things and we write like this for piano all the time. It's all the same rules that we've been working with. So let's take a listen to this arrangement. All right, so it's not exactly homophonic. It's not extremely far off. Like, let's look right here at the melody. We have a chord here. We have a cup. We have one in between note, and then here's another melody note, another uh, chord, 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 chord. So it's close, but on some of these, we've got a lot more kind of filler notes, right? So it's not exactly homophonic. Um, now, when I say chord, 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 chord. That doesn't mean we've got a new chord. So that doesn't mean it changes the harmonic rhythm of the piece. The harmonic rhythm just means how often does the chord change? Not how often do we use notes within the chords or even some non-chord tones. So it's a bit of a subjective term. But let's hear this one and see what we think. Okay, then it repeats. So here you can hear it's close to homophonic texture, but we've got all these extra filler notes in here. So I would actually probably call this polyphonic texture. Um, it's a bit thick, uh, meaning that there's a lot of notes happening in the accompaniment. Harmonic rhythm is the same to my ear, um, meaning we have about two chords per bar. Some cases we only have one. Uh, some cases we have a little turn at the end of the chord, like right, or at the end of the bar, like right here. There's a another chord slipped in right at the end of the bar. But more or less, I would call this a harmonic rhythm of about two chords per bar. And what I want you to uh, get out of this is that what's interesting here is that the texture can totally change depending on your arrangement. You can arrange something in whatever texture you want. That is total creative freedom. The harmonic rhythm, you have some control over, but largely it's dependent on the melody. Because when the melody goes to a note that implies another chord, you kind of have to go there, it, unless you want to change the melody, right? So a lot of these are going to have the same harmonic rhythm because we're using the same melody, but different texture because they're different arrangements. 